Hi guys, my name is Lily and today I'm going to build an underground heating system. Stay tuned. Today I'm here in the forest at my primitive campsite shelter. And as you can see, the shelter is pretty damaged. The roof is leaking and the walls of the shelter are down. So I have to do a lot of repair work here. But before I do the repair work, I want to make a underground heating system. Stay tuned. Okay, the first thing that I want to do is I want to dig a hole right in front of the shelter. And for this, I'm going to need a shovel. And today's video is sponsored by the company Five Joy. And they have sent me this J2 shovel to try it out. And yeah, uh, the shovel comes in this nylon sheath, which is super sturdy. At the back side here, you have a belt loop which is pretty awesome. So you can carry it on your belt or you can attach it to molly webbings on your backpack. And then you have two Velcro closures here and you can pull out a sheath like this and then you have your shovel. The shovel design is pretty unique, I have to say. I've never seen something like it. So uh, the tip of the shovel is not one tip, but it's a double tip and yeah. I can see some advantages of having a double tip and at the sides here, the sides are a little bit sharpened. So you can use it as an emergency axe if you don't have another one available. So you can split some wood with it. I'm sure that it's sturdy enough and it won't break. The entire shovel is 24 inches big, which is not too big and not too small. The wooden handle is made from hardwood. I believe it's beechwood and yeah, beechwood is pretty hard. At the back of the handle you have this nice knob here so that you don't slip off the handle and they have attached this lanyard. Yeah, the shovel is pretty heavy duty and it looks very robust. And after this video I'm going to store it in my car because that is something that I need now for my bug out kit. But first today I want to test out the shovel and see what it can take. Just have to make sure that I'm not too close to the shelter. So I think I'm going to make the fireplace around here. And as you can see, it's pretty hard to get into the earth because there are so many roots in the forest ground. So this is going to take a while. It's winter time and it's getting cold. So I don't mind a little bit of physical work to get warm. Yeah, so this fireplace is going to be a little bit underground. I like this because then it's a little bit more stealthy and people can see the fire. It's not going to be a Dakota fire pit, but it is somewhat of a stealth fire. I know that some people might cry over this route but it would have been burned by the fire anyway. If you're wondering what kind of soil this is here, it's a loamy earth, which is my favorite type of soil when it comes to fireproof, uh, when it comes to fireproof grounds, because uh, this type of soil doesn't have a lot of oxygen content and also it doesn't have 
too much of organic material which could burn underneath. So it's important when you want to make a new fireplace that you dig down underneath your fireplace, you take out the organic material, the root, and you have to control the soil. So you have to determine uh, what is the oxygen content and how much organic material you have. Now with this ground here, it's almost impossible that you cause a underground fire but there are other type of soils which have more oxygen and more organic material and those are uh, not so great for making fire on so if you have a soil which has more oxygen and more organic material you really want to put some stones underneath the fire pit so that you don't cause an underground fire. Okay, I think that the hole is now deep enough and now I'm going to move the shelter out of the way because now I have to dig a tunnel underneath the shelter here. Okay, right here we have a very big root and it sticks out to the surface. So I don't really want to cut it off. It's not necessary. Okay guys, so I have dug my tunnel and I have my fire pit ready. But now I need to dig another ramp down to the fireplace because otherwise the fire wouldn't get enough of oxygen. Okay guys, so I'm done with the digging. So as you can see, I have dug this very deep hole. This is where the fire pit is going to be. And then I have dug a ramp down to the fire pit. So the theory is that the air is going to come down here and feeds the fire with oxygen. Then the fire is going to burn and it's going to produce heat and smoke. And some of the heat and some of the smoke is going to go through this longer air tunnel. And the theory is that the warm air is going to heat up the inside of the shelter. For example, if you build a raised bed above this air tunnel, you should have a warm bag, at least where the air tunnel goes. So you probably are not warm at the head or at the feet, but your upper body or your hip is going to be warm. That's better than nothing. Okay, next I have to close the tunnel above and seal it airtight. And for closing the tunnel, I'm just going to take the spark here and I place it above the air tunnel like this. And after that, I'm going to get some earth and put it on the roofing. Here at the end of the air tunnel, I'm going to put the stone. So, yeah, you know the bark is going to burn if you put it here, but the stone is not going to burn and it's fireproof. And maybe I can cook something on the stone when it's getting hot. So that's pretty cool. So that's it. And now I have to put some earth on this tunnel and seal it airtightly. Okay, this mat take a while until it's really airtight. So now I want to make a fire and see if I have any gaps in the air tunnel. Then I'm going to close it and this should work.
Yeah guys, so my underground heating system is working. I can't feel the heat coming through the earth yet, but I can see smoke coming from the uh, from the air tunnel. I have some gaps here, so I have to close them now with earth. And I have a gap here as well, and that's the, the end of the tunnel. So I really want the smoke to come out at the end of the tunnel, so that I don't have the smoke inside of my shelter. So the end of the tunnel is behind my shelter. Next time my plan is that I, I'm going to build a bed, I'm going to rebuild the shelter and the walls, and then the camp is good to go for the winter time. So that's pretty awesome. Yeah, I also want to say thank you to my sponsor, Five Joy. With sponsors like them, it's possible for me to make a living from my videos. And if you are interested in getting one of their shovels, you can do so by following the link in the description below. And yeah, this one here is a pretty sturdy shovel, so I will put it in my car. And maybe, you know, sometimes you have an emergency and maybe you get into mud and then you have to dig out your tire or something. So I think that's a great, great thing to have in a car. And yeah, I also wanted to let you know that I'm on Patreon now. So if you want to support my channel, you can do so by becoming my Patreon. And with the money, I can invest in better camera equipment, and microphone. And yeah, I'm pretty good at destroying uh, very expensive camera gear. So yeah, I want to thank you for watching and stay tuned till next time.